floors throughout the entire house. We just moved all the wood floors in, 37 boxes of Bella Wood hardwood floors, and some three quarter inch hardwood. So here's what the floor looks like. It's a uh, Brazilian oak, is what it's called. So I think it should look pretty nice. There's a little variation in color, but not much. It'll be a nice dark accent, and it'll really pop with the baseboard and the white doors and trim. All right, so the first step is we're gonna bring it in to the master bedroom here. The master bedroom is gonna end up being carpeted. So this is kind of like just the staging area for the wood. We'll make our cuts in here and we'll transport it elsewhere in the house to install it. It's gotta sit for a couple of weeks and acclimate to the house. We're gonna to try to keep the humidity relatively low, AC on in here while this sits for a couple of weeks before we actually get started. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since we took the wood in the house. We're ready to get started on installing the flooring. We've got most of the tools we're gonna to need to do that. We've got our table saw in case we need to rip a board long ways. We've got our miter saw for just cutting the boards to length. And we've got our flooring nailer. And we'll be using uh, one and three quarter inch L cleats. It's a uh, three quarter inch solid hardwood floor. So let's get in the house and start planning this out. All right, so as I might have explained previously, there's gonna be hardwood floors throughout most of the house. Here in the family room will be hardwood. It will transition into the hallway. The kitchen's gonna be a vinyl grouted tile. The dining room and all the hallway will be hardwood. Into this area here will be hardwood. Into this spare bedroom, it's gonna be carpeted. This room already has tile floors. Hardwood all the way down the hall into the foyer. The whole front room will be hardwood floors. Then the master bedroom is going to be carpet. All right, we'll start by putting down our underlayment, which is going to be a red rosin paper. The red rosin paper basically acts as a somewhat of a moisture barrier. Really, it's just to help the wood go down neatly on the subfloor. All right, Saturday morning, we're getting started on the flooring. We were here last night, got a little bit of the, uh, the paper put down for the underlayment, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna start over in the corner of the room in the family room here, and the first couple rows we'll have to face nail, which means we're gonna nail them down through the board because the nailer won't have enough room to side nail. And then once we get far enough out, We'll be able to use our flooring nailer to put the cleats into the tongue. Alright, so getting the first row perfectly straight is going to be the most important thing because the rest of the floor is based off the first row. And believe it or not, the wall is not square, so you can't use the wall as your guide. I have to make a cut to go around a register in the first row. So that's been traced onto here, and then I'll go ahead and make that cut, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so now we've got the first board. We've got measurements taken on each side of the wall, spaced evenly. Time to face nail this board.
the floors are officially finished. Still a decent amount of dust on them. But here is the family room floor. And here is the kitchen. Kind of hard to see the color on camera, but it's a gray marble look. Turned out really nice. Foyer, front room, so the only thing we have left to do is put all the cord around on, you can see some of it is loosely in place here, it hasn't been nailed down yet, do a little bit of touch up painting. Floor is going to need mopped to get all the dust out of it. But it looks a whole lot better in here now. Really made a big difference. All right. Well, thanks for watching our latest episode of Order House to Home, where we got all the floors done, the hardwood all throughout the house, and the kitchen tile done. The last thing we have to do is do carpet in the bedroom. Uh, the master bedroom and the guest bedroom. That's going to be done by professionals. Uh, we're almost done with the house. The only thing left that really has to be done besides the carpet is the kitchen. And then once the kitchen's done, the house will be ready to be moved into. There's a couple little other projects we have to do. One of them being a few lights and I'm going to be doing a whole house water system which includes a filtration system and a water softener. And there'll be a whole other video on that. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and be sure to check out our Facebook page. There's a link in the description. See you next time.